about 400. You say that, Tony? Three, three. No, four. Four hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. There, there you go. go. Four hundred. <laughs> four hundred. <laughs> D flat, Jim. D flat. B flat. D. B flat. That's it. Four hundred. Just do it. It's all done. You told me how to do it. I'd rather have Jesus than silver gold. I'd rather be His and have riches and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or land.
32. <laughs> 40, 44. 440. 440. Four, <laughs> Number four. Four. Three fours. <laughs> D. D. Oh, yeah. Got you. Somebody else. The Nicholson family, uh, they lost 
I was 39 years old. I took a heart attack. His name was Matt, and the whole family was passing. He's been a really hard time this last few weeks. Mm-hmm. The last week. And then it's been hard for me today, and really the last year has been rocky. But the last couple of weeks have been really rough. I, uh, tonight at 4 o'clock, Papa will be gone for the year. Um, really, really happy for him, but it's a big cold day. Yeah. Somebody else. Seven Jim, Sari Landing. <laughs> Sandy and Larry and Jimmy. Gee. I've been on Johnny too long. No, I didn't that didn't say I I, I needed that. <laughs> well, I mean, right. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Sorry, Sandy and Larry. Yeah. Brother Charlie's not feeling well. They messaged me earlier. And he's not feeling well at all. And, uh, Judy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you got him in the Sunday morning as we went left for church well I didn't have any sibling so we went to my voicemail hey this is Hank just ch- ain't talked to you a while I'm just checking in well I got finally got Tuesday I called him back and his brother had got burned up Saturday evening in a house fire 51 years old so uh, to my knowledge Hank is the only one out of those out of the boys now I don't there's 11 counting boys and girls but I don't remember how many boys it was but to my knowledge Hank's the only one serving the Lord <coughs> I'll ask you to remember that. Hank said, please pray for my mom and he, she's not taking it well. No. Remember, Brett and Chesha's daughter, she's back in the hospital. She's got all sorts of work for her. I don't know what else. No. And she's back on the camp. She's walking. That chemo is what's causing the monsters in her throat. That real strong chemo. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. statistics say. And he's like 84 or 85. Yeah. So, I mean, you're talking about a miracle. Amen. God, I serve a miracle working God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Remember Sandy Larry? Remember Larry and I? He had a real good day today while I was down there. And the doctors took him off his medicine. When 
same state and now it's Plainfield. You want to feel the God has his appetite a little bit. Yeah. But he was Larry tonight. Looked like Larry, to me, he looked like Larry I've seen a few years ago. He was talking, getting around, you know. It's just blessing. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. He talks like almost twice the size of normal. And uh, he's supposed to go to the doctor with it in the morning. So we should pray for Brother Kelly. He's, yep. he's about got the pneumonia kicked. Uh, and, you know, as hard as what these colds and starting the stuff are to get rid of, imagine having pneumonia. Yeah. And uh, anyhow, he's he, he's on the mend as far as that, but pray for that leg. Yep. What about Brother Jim Dalton? Brother Jim was here. Uh, his legs are progressing yeah. real well. He was here Sunday. Uh, it won't be long we talk away. It won't be long he'll be in the boot. Mm -hmm. You're walk his way right out of that boot. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Yep. Somebody else? Come brother on him. He's going to be facing surgery. That's right. Huh? I know we don't say much about it, but yes. Yeah. That's hands. right. All of them. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's take this into the end of the stage.
Liam Watson. Here it goes. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners has slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. In the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous a beauty I see. For it was on that cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. To the old rugged cross I will Gladly I bear. Then he'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling. Back, and it 
that torment me I'd forever be lost Jim and I'm so glad he was willing to drink that bitter cup although he prayed Father let it pass from me and I'm so glad he didn't 
I want to do something a little bit different tonight than our normal Bible study. Sometimes I get accused by people of nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> so I want you to take out a pen and paper. All right. Uh, if you wasn't here Sunday, I'll just say this. Boy, you flat missed it. I think that the whole church, when I say the whole church, I think everybody in the church got stirred. I guess that's the best way I could put it, stirred up, fired up, Richard, regardless of how you would like to say it. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to go through the calendar with the things that I have scheduled as of right now, being the will of the good Lord. Everybody knows that we're on the countdown to 100, right? Amen. We're on the countdown to 100 now. So if you don't have paper, let me know. I'll go in here and get you a blank sheet of paper. Anybody need a piece of paper? Huh? You don't have a piece of paper? <laughs> don't have a pen. We've got pens and paper. I think he needed a pencil back there. 
Yeah. Now, everybody knows that Brother Billy Huddleston is coming March 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Everybody's got that down already, right? We've, I've been giving that out. Okay? So you should have that. Uh, 22nd and 23rd, Brother Jimmy Housen uh, will be singing. Uh, I... I can't remember, Rhonda's got it in her calendar, someone singing on 24th, 25th, we will use church singers. Uh, 26th, 27th, 28th, that's the rest of that week. I, I never have liked three-day revivals. I just, I wasn't raised that way. Matter of fact, I went two or three weeks, not two or three days. So, Brother Jackie, I talked with him Saturday, since seeing how he's at the anniversary party, then uh, he's going to come preach for us on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Friday night, you remember last year, Brother Jackie's family came? Amen. That's good music, wasn't it? They're going to come again this Friday night, all right? Uh, on the 27th. Saturday night, or on Thursday night, uh, I went to Addison Church Sunday night, and then I, I go in there, down there, and Rick insists. I did everything I could to get out of it. But he insisted that I preach. He said, they don't get to hear you. They hear me all the time. So I preached. But after that, we were talking about uh, Victory River. And he said, boy, he said, I'd like to sing one more time. And I said, Mark, are you up for it? And Mark said, why not? So I called Randy. So we're going to have uh, Muddy Water Boys or Victory River Quartet on Thursday night, a reunion. And uh, Friday night will probably be the Neo Kids, or Saturday night, I'm sorry, will probably be the Neo Kids. I've talked with Olivia a little bit about it. I've got to send her for sure the date uh, on that, on her calendar. She had to check and make sure, but them kids will flat bless your socks off. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, we... Uh, we talked about it. Everybody knows Easter is April the 12th, right? We had talked about doing the Easter program again. And some were like, it, 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 here's the thing. It takes, everybody knows, it takes the whole church to be involved in this, to carry it all, to, to, to have it. This is not something the church can consent. Can, Come and sit and watch. Maybe a few of them that's not here tonight, but uh, I mean, it takes 30 some people to be able to put this play on. And, and I thought we had a tremendous response to it last year, didn't you? Yes. Uh, and so uh, that play will be the 11th and the 12th. We're going to do it twice. We will do a sunrise service at 6 o'clock. Then our Easter egg hunt will be after that. That's on, oh, this is Easter weekend. All right? But before that, on the 5th, anybody ever hear of a lady by the name of Ann Downing? Then you don't watch Gaither videos because she's on them all. I mean, 99% of them. She's a, a wonderful Christian, Christian artist. Matter of fact, her and Billy's a, a, a Good friends, that's how really she and I got in contact when Billy was here preaching last year. She said she would love to come and sing. So she would be here April the 5th on that Sunday morning. On that Sunday morning. I, I skipped something. Put this, go back to the top of your page on the 15th and put Randy Schaefer Sunday morning. Randy, uh, uh, he's just... I love to hear Randy sing just by himself. Uh, if you... Uh, he's been here several times like that in that aspect, and, and he will, again, I, I feel like if we're busy, we're not going to get idle. I, right? But if we're just coming here and seem like it's the same thing every Sunday, and that's why I'm just trying to shake, keep things shook up a little bit and uh, stirred up a little bit among us that... Uh, 
when things do roll around, then we'll have a, uh, we can be like Sunday morning, receptive to the Word of God. We could come in charged up. What, what would happen if we would come in like that every Sunday? I'll tell you what would happen. These pews would fill. And it's not God's fault that it's not like that every Sunday. Now, we've been having some tremendous services, and uh, I, I, I hate to use this phrase because a lot of people use it for the wrong reason, but I feel like God is getting ready to launch us into, into the next phase or whatever aspect of our church. I mean, you know, we're just getting ready to grow and I really feel that with all my heart. And I, I felt that way. And it's getting stronger, I think, every time. The Spirit of God, when we come out here to worship God, to have church, we have church. Now, if we come and go through the motions, that's all we get. Right? All right. So, uh, again, that covers uh, first the last Saturday in April. Last Saturday, April the 26th, we will start our Sunday evening services on the hill. Pencil don't write good on that. Ink pen don't do much better. Does it? Nope. Nope. Talk to myself. Nobody else listening. At least I might have to answer myself. I'll get the right answers that way. That's right. How many would rather be busy? I, I'm, and here's, here's the thing. Now we, I haven't picked a date actually to start it yet, but I want to start doing some visitation. I'm telling you, that's going to be one of the keys to, to building this church is you and I going out as teams. And all we got to do, I mean, all, you, I'm not saying you got to go in with a track and sit down and win them to the Lord. I'm saying if that opportunity arises... Brother, you take it. But what I'm saying is, we've got to get back out in this community and let people know we've been here 99 years. Puritan Free Will Baptist has been here 99 years and we've got a good thing going and we'd like to share it. And just give them a, a pamphlet with their, with their names on it or maybe we're going to have flyers with a, or, or a calendar of our upcoming events. Uh, some of those. Does that sound all right to everybody? Can't really read that. <laughs> All right. Uh, conference is May the 9th at, uh, no, at, at MacArthur. Now, let, let me ask a question real quick. How many enjoyed that Church of God pastors here Sunday morning? <laughs> we all did, didn't we? You know why? Because he's a Christian. He didn't come as a church of God. He comes as a man of God, right? All right. And we've ta I've talked about this, especially I know Dave is going to remember it. I've talked about doing a revival up on the shelter house for four or five years. Starts May 17th. Brother Bill will preach. Starts on Sunday night, May 17th, all the way through Saturday night. And the reason I did it when I did it there in May is everybody knows generally the middle of May is not really hot yet. Everybody knows the middle of May is warm enough that you can be outside and do something, all right? So it's not so cold that we're going to freeze to death and it's not so hot that we're going to burn up. That's why I, I, I just felt like that was a good time. Now, uh, you're going to have to pray real hard for Brother Bill. Brother Bill drives a bus. He gets off the bus at 5.15. His wife's like, well, you can't do that. He said, I can and I will. <laughs> I told him, I said, you come in your blue jeans. I don't, it, right? I mean, I got on blue jeans and I, I've preached. We go to college prayer meetings most of the time. That's what I wear. You, nobody said you had to preach. Uh, I, not where I come from that you had to have a suit to preach, right? It's the gift of God. So, uh, I, I'm telling you, I... 
I hate to look past the one that's coming because I love Brother Billy, but I'm excited about fire on the mountain. And I'm excited about the one that's coming again next month there in March, but I'm really excited about fire on the mountain. All right. Uh, the 31st, that, that will be your uh, service there on the hill. All right, skip over into June. Now, by the way, this Sunday morning, after Sunday school, or after church is over, we will discuss, start discussing Vacation Bible School. Last year, there was only one or two meetings on Vacation Bible School the whole time along, and certain people said, well, nobody wanted to help me do anything. We're going to plan. Amen? 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 Amen. We're, going to, we're going to work, uh, uh, plan to work, and then we're going to work to plan. So we're going to start doing that, and we will have at least one a month, if not two, Maybe the first and third Sunday morning after church, we will have a vacation Bible school meeting and get everybody on the same page because one person cannot put on vacation Bible school. I remember our first one that I, when I came here, we planned four weeks. And we had almost 100 kids, 80 or 90 kids that week. Almost every night. Matter of fact, I think that's the one we was saved in, isn't it? The very first one that I, I'm pretty sure we had, and simply because we believed, and everybody jumped in and helped, and that's what it's going to take to build this church. It, I can't. Dave can't. The deacons. Just, it takes everybody to build this church. And that's why I'm throwing these things out here to get you involved in these things, to get you excited that number one, you can be praying. Number two, you can be volunteering and saying, Pastor, here am I. I'm ready to go. Right? All right. So uh, we're now in June. On uh, June the 27th, Saturday, June the 27th, Everybody put a P-R-O-M. Prom. How many was that the last one? I want to say this. It was as clean and as dignified as could be. Husbands danced with their wives and nobody else. And nobody was shaking their booty, all right? It was slow, romantic dancing. <laughs> we did, we did, wasn't doing the, doing the dosey dos and swinging partners around and here we goes, all right? We were, everybody danced with the one that brought them and it was a good time in the Lord. You guys come on in and sit down. June the 28th, we will have a, uh, uh, David and Mimi Reeves will be here, they were our missionaries, they will be here that Sunday morning to uh, present their mission work. Also, Brian and Yvonne will be here for the prom on Saturday night, they're going to stay for Sunday morning, alright? So, uh, I'll... Uh, this pen just ain't working right. I'm going to have to type all this up. Uh, you can't look at it. It just won't write on this wax paper. This just don't write very well, does it? All right. Skip on into July. Of course, the uh, 28th will be your meeting for uh, uh, on the service on the hill. And uh, we always have a good service up there. Always. So... Uh, July 5th, James Rainey Trio will be here. I'm 99.9.9% .9 sure on that. I think for sure it's the 5th. See the 5th? Uh, uh, on that last Saturday, uh, you remember the pastor that used to sing with James, Brother Paul? You don't remember? You, Gary remembers him. He's kind of Kind of uh, uh, chubby and glasses and a little goatee. Anyhow, he's been here before. He will preach 
on the twenty on the twenty eighth. He just don't. I don't know if I told him it was on the hill or not. But anyhow, uh, he'll preach that Sunday night. Well, Sunday school picnic, July the nineteenth. Now, just to address what Jennifer said about Sunday night. Time we have those services and then we have the dinner and time we get cleaned up, it's 2 to 2.30 time the last of us get out of here. And you do all that, you're wore out. That's one reason we don't come back here Sunday night. And I apologize that you didn't know that. I thought everybody knew that, that we don't. But uh, when we have a special service like that, most of the time we will not have service that night. Uh, if, if, if it, I always, and I have announced it a couple of times, you just, uh, you was working or whatever, but anyhow, Sunday school picnic, we have Sunday school picnic, we do not have service that Sunday night. Now, the Vinton County Fair, is it the 27th? Yes. 26th. Huh? Third week of July. So, that'd be the 20th. If it's, that's the third full week in July. It starts on the 20th. His first full week, it starts the 6th through the 10th, 13th through 17th, and then 20th through 24th. So if that's the case, if Event County Fair is the 20th through 24th, we hand out water at the fair, right? We do Vacation Bible School the following week. All right, so VBS should be uh, 27th through the 31st. Okay, everybody good with that? All right, skip into August. Conference is March the or August the eighth at Logan. It's also my birthday. Uh, on August the 8th, also, that Saturday night, we always do it the Saturday night after conference, is when we do our fish fry. And I'm going to throw this out. I am not doing wild game and fish fry on the same day anymore. It's too much. I can't. <laughs> all right? Because I cooked all Friday evening. I got up cooking. I come back straight from conference and cooked all day. And the time the fish is done... I want to go crawl in a hole and hide. I'm wore out. So, fish fry. Uh, September. S September 13th is uh, homecoming. And uh, starting on the 20th, we'll be in revival with Brother Wayne Runyon. That's enough to keep us busy for a little while, isn't it? Everybody got all that down? Eric and them at Claymore wants to know when revivals in March is. I don't know what that about. What, well, what I want to do with this fire on the mountain, I'm going to get several other churches involved. We will move the picnic tables out. We will set our chairs up up there. You probably the yeah, other out there in the hallway. All right. So, any other questions? How many still love me? That's a lot of stuff. Here. Have someone type that up for the one.